Marcus Conti reporting. It's with great pleasure that I announce this, that I talk about this. We've been waiting for this. Yellow Vest protesters to withdraw all their euro in massive run on French banks. Oh, damn, the French is showing us how it's done. The French, the French, this is from uh, news.com. Uh, AU. Right? So it's a, um, I think it's an Australian paper. Mainstream media in the United States, if you haven't noticed, is totally uh, silent on this. But this is this is brilliant, right? I, I hope I had something to do with it. I've been talking about it for like two weeks, right? Trying to educate people on if you run the banks, you run, you run the, you run, you win. Check this shit out, man. Furious yellow vests are preparing to withdraw all their euro in a massive run on the French banks as violent protests spill over into Britain. So it's, it's spreading. Yellow vest activity activists are urging French citizens to empty their bank accounts and spark a massive run on the country's banks in their long-standing fight with the government, which could lead to the collapse of its banking system. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, man. The call for citizens to withdraw all their euro came as a copy, copycat protests came as copycat protests as planned for Britain on the weekend. So it's all coming for the weekend. <laughs> this is this is amazing stuff right here. The left wing People's Assembly activists group activist group has invited thousands of people to wear yellow vests at an anti austerity Britain is broken march in central London of this weekend. See you on the street and don't forget your yellow vest, the group said, which is demanding a general election to end the ruling conservative program of austerity. They wrote on Facebook. Austerity. It's like they're they're getting their balls broken, right? They can't it's like f by force, right? That's what austerity is. Meanwhile, right wing Brexit supporting activists have singled their intention to hold demonstrations in Britain's cities, including the capital, under the banner uh, hashtag Yellow Vest UK. <laughs> it's spreading, man. They locked, they freeze the banks. It's 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 point game. You know how you know how fucking the banking industry in this country is gonna shit in their pants if they see that. Do you know what you know what happens? Oh my God. This comes ahead of the ninth straight weekend of protests across France, with yellow vests now issuing calls on social media for massive cash withdrawals from banks. They repeat themselves a lot, so if I'm repeating, I'm, I'm not reading the same thing over. Protesters hope the move will force the government to listen to their demands, notably their call for more direct democracy through the implementation of popular votes that allow citizens to propose new laws. Ah, they're, they're actually proposing that the government do something for the people. Wow, when was the last time that happened in the United States? Fucking long time ago, man. Long time ago. Protesters, okay, activist uh, Maxine, she gets a naming. Act, uh, activist Maxine Nicole called it the tax, tax collector's referendum. <laughs> in a video message, Nicole said, We are going to get our bread back. You're making money with our dough, and we're fed up. It's beautiful. What could a bank run mean? Question mark. If a bank run succeeds, the yellow vests could cause a collapse, a complete failure of French banking system. That's what happens. It's saying that, that um, I just read down the list. I'll, I'll get to it. Unlike Australia, France operates on a fractional reserve system, meaning the banking system holds only a fraction of the money that's deposited by the customers. The rest is made to, to loan and create new money, right? In France, they're saying that, that 25%. The country's banks are believed to have about a quarter of the cash needed to weather a banking storm. It's much less than that. It's not a quarter. It's in the United States. It's like five percent, which means that if five percent of the country, Americans wake up, five percent of the country goes to the bank and pulls their money out, you crash the system, and then you, then then it's, you, well, 
I think this country, I think, uh, you know, I, we still have a lot of bootlickers on this uh, channel and uh, a lot of a lot of people still deeply gaslighted and don't understand that that it's the that it's a financial problem. And the French get it. We don't. And a lot of us do get it. But for the most part, most people don't get it. If if reports are true in saying that 70 percent of the population plans to withdraw all their euro, it means that more than 46 million people will be directly revolting against the system. And that's a that's a peaceful protest. That's just going to the bank and taking out your money. You see how easy? Right? You see how easy? This could lead to a systemic banking crisis in the country where almost all the banking capital is wiped out. <laughs> how could it affect the economy? Uh, question mark. France has the seventh largest economy in the world and the second largest in Europe, valued at $2.58 trillion, according to the World Bank data. $2.5 trillion is, is, is almost the market capitalization of J.P. Morgan Chase, one bank in the U.S. Right. Just think about that for a second. And all the other companies like Amazon and Apple, it's huge wealth, man. You freeze the banks here, man, they're screwed. They're, they're screwed. It relies heavily on t France. It relies heavily on tourism and agriculture to sustain their income. Their their two point five trillion, and boasts being the most visited country in the world. If a bank run leads to widespread financial crisis, it can result in a long economic recession for businesses and consumers who don't have enough money. Yeah, well, that's that's the that's the prelim preliminary price you pay for freedom. During the Great Depression in the 1930s, much of the econ economic damage was caused by a bank run. This is how you do it. A bank run like most of a bank run like the one being promoted in France now could potentially paralyze the country's economy and lead to the collapse of the euro. <laughs> so simple, right? When everybody pulls together, when everybody makes a decision to do it themselves, you know, Run on the bank, stay home, right? Have, make yourself a meal. Right. So, there's more. How long are we going already? Seven minutes? All right. Fundraisers for ordinary, oh, that, that boxer guy, that was, this is more on the boxer dude. And many, many, of, okay, so that's, that's about all. So, so that's, that's some powerful stuff, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm moved by that when I see it. I'm like, viva France. You know, that uh, the French are are they're in a revolution, right? The French Revolution, the the 2019 version of the French Revolution. They're tired. They're sick of their. They're sick of being crapped on by their by their leadership, right? That don't listen. Being ripped off by the banking system, right? They're taking their country back. Right? But here in the U.S., man, people are still you know still too cozy. People don't want to. They don't want to admit that they're struggling. They don't want to admit. They think that uh, they're, they're, they're strung out on hopium, that something's going to happen, something's going to change. I spill the wall, you know, block out the Mexicans and, you know, and fucking, you know, we can't tax anybody. We can't tax the corporations and bring them down because that's socialism. Right? You can't run the banks because that's not patriotic. You know, see, in, in the United States, we have a million reasons why why people won't act because of the division, because of the the gaslighting that has occurred via the uh, the corporate media has created it. And, uh, you know, I look out at it and I say, oh, man, it's just I wish I could help. You know, I wish I could. I try my best to wake people up. You know, that's all I do. And I mean, you know, I, I'm a joker and, a, you know, and a, a tongue in cheek and a dick joke guy. But I, I mean what I say and um, I say what I mean, you know, and uh I call it like I see it, and if if France pulls this off, it's a it's a great day for democracy. It's a great day for for the people for freedom because it will trickle down. It will it it will have a an echo effect uh, across uh, across the European continent, and it's inevitably going to affect our economy because of the trade uh, trading the the currency trades. Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.